when staff is making calls through Azure's PBX. They may come across a problem that the call is dropped automatically after it has been connected for about 30 seconds. You might think, what? Well, you know, it actually happens. So, how do we deal with that? Let's just figure the possible causes of the problem first. Generally speaking, this issue is usually caused by two types of incorrect settings, which are incorrect net settings on the PBX and incorrect ALG settings on the router. Correspondingly, we could take two remedial actions. Correct net settings on the PBX and correct the ALG setting on the router. Now let's have a check on the first one. Before we get started, you probably want to know what net settings on the PBX can do. It is a feature that makes sure the SIP extension can send SIP packets to the PBX successfully via LAN and the internet. If we don't configure it correctly, the extension will send packets to a wrong IP address, and PBX won't receive them and reply. So finally, the PBX drops the call according to SIP protocol. Okay, let's see how to configure the NAT settings. Log in to PBX Web GUI, choose Settings, then go to PBX, find the General, select SIP, and find NAT. Yaystar S Series PBX provides three types of NAT external IP address, external host, and stone. If your PBX has a private IP address and is connected to a router that has a static public IP address, you can set NAT with external IP address. If your PBX has a private IP and is connected to a router that doesn't have a static public IP address, you can set NAT with external host. Besides, if your PBX has neither a static public IP address nor a domain name, you can set the NAT with STOWN for simple traversal utilities for NAT. We're supposed to select one type to configure NAT according to our network environment. Well, in this video, I will show you guys how to configure the type of external IP address. If you want to know more about the other two types, please check our document center. Say, we're going to take this scenario as an example. The router has a static public IP applied from the local carrier. All devices are connected to the same router. PBX and a SIP phone are deployed in the same network segment. Well, the other phone is in a different segment. Besides, the default SIP 5060 port of the PBX is forwarded to port 5566 of the public IP. At the same time, a remote SIP phone in another private network is registered to the PBX via the internet. Let's see how to configure NAT with the mentioned information. First, choose the type external IP address. An external IP address. Enter the static public IP, as well as the forwarded destination port, so the remote SIP phone will be able to communicate with the PBX via the internet. In local network identification, enter the local network segment of all local devices which need to be communicated with the PBX. In the scenario we mentioned, we actually have two phones in these two segments. So we enter both segments here, enter the network segment and the subnet mask. Click on this icon, add another rule in the same way. Now, PBX will be able to communicate with local devices. Set the NAT mode to yes. All right, guys, that was all for the first remedial action, which is the correction of your PBX NAT. Now let's check the second one, correcting the ALG setting on the router. Well, this one is pretty easy. Just make sure the ALG setting on the router is disabled. That's it. If you want to learn more about the settings in different brands of router, you can refer to the articles in our knowledge base. And if there's still something not clear, please feel free to visit support.yastar.com and contact our tech support team, submit your ticket, or start the online chat. Alright, guess that was all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Get more details, check our knowledge base, and document center linked below. I will see you guys in the next one.